So I got a lot of stuff to clean up still. I gotta empty the dishwasher and reload that. And then I just have some other stuff to do. I have to clean up the, and yes, I'm watching Friends. Um, I gotta clean up the living room in that too. Um, I am uh, unfortunately still not fully recovered from COVID. I have a really bad cough still and a lot of drainage and all that fun stuff. So I um, look like crap, but that's okay. <laughs> and the lighting is in here is bad. Eesh, that's not any better. But anyhow, and today Willow is sick. She's been thrown up this morning, so she stayed home from school. I feel bad for her. Uh, and then, yeah, just a lot of stuff to do. So let's get started. Well, for those of you who saw my last video, um, you would notice that I missed my goal of uploading every Wednesday, or well, this Wednesday at 3 p.m. So hopefully this video will be up on Thursday, so I'm only a day late. But yeah, I got behind again, and for some reason my iMovie is running ridiculously slow, so I'm also trying to figure out what's going on with that, too. But hopefully next week I will be on a schedule of every Wednesday at 3 p.m. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mackenzie, and I do mostly cleaning and organizing videos with some decluttering and some decorating and a little bit of cooking thrown in too. In this video I do have some cooking. I plan on doing a decluttering series pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to start that but I'm hoping before the end of January. Also if you are new and that kind of content interests you be sure to click the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube community. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up too, as this really helps out my channel.
it again Yeah going to be making pizza rolls. I had a recipe for this but I kind of altered some stuff. Like I think they said to use pizza dough for the like crust part of it but I used these Pillsbury crescent rolls instead and then it didn't say to add uh, Italian seasoning but I added that anyway because I thought it would taste good with it. I also made kind of a garlic butter seasoning for the top. I just used garlic powder and butter, or I said seasoning, I meant like spread for the top. For the cooking instructions, I just followed what the crescent roll recipe, well not recipe, but like the crescent roll wrapper said to do, and then I, I think I may have cut it a little bit lo longer than that because they didn't look all the way done, but other than that I just followed what the box or not box can canister whatever you call that said <laughs> pizza rolls one other time after this and I tried adding more of the marinara sauce into them but I actually don't recommend doing that because it made them really soggy so if you like a lot of marinara sauce then I recommend just leaving it on the side and dipping them into it uh, because yeah they were they were really soggy <laughs> From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning, kept it up right till the morning, a new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be, a different
different side of me, yeah You find a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah It's calling sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You find a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah I share more of my personal life over on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is at at home with Mackenzie. If you're interested in going over there and following me on Instagram as well. If you are new here, please feel free to introduce yourself in the comments. I would love to get to know you and welcome you to my community. Even if you're not um, brand new or anything, you can still feel free to introduce yourself in the comment comment section and let me know where you're from. I always find that interesting. We can go back, we can go to the other side where dreams can come alive, come alive, come on. We can fall back, we can dishes to clean. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. <laughs> and then I need to 
empty out the dishwasher because that's all clean. Put other dishes away. I still have some food left to put away from my grocery order. I need to bag up some chips. Um, re figure out how I'm going to rearrange my pantry to fit more stuff. So that's why I got this so I can put stuff up under it and on top because I'm running out of pantry space. <laughs> And I need to wash and prep, or more like just cut off the top so that the, what are these, fruits, <laughs> jeez. Uh, and then I think I might make a chili for dinner. The kids probably aren't going to eat it because they never eat anything I cook. And then neither does John, so it'll just be for me. But anyhow, so I think... I think I'm going to start with doing some dishes and just get this stuff cleared off. Then go work on that, put those away. And yeah, and then I also want to make some chocolate chip cookies and freeze some too. So yeah, I got a lot to do. And it's already uh, a little after 4.15. And I want to get at least most of this done before John gets home around 7.15. So wish me luck. Thank you. 
have like no makeup on and don't look great at all, but that's okay. I'm going to make some chili and I'm kind of just making this up as I go. So if it doesn't make any sense or, well, I mean, I feel like chili is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm basically just adding stuff that is taking up space in my pantry and I just want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to add that and then I cooked some ground beef the other day, so I'm going to add that too. I added one can of black beans and then I have two cans of pinto beans and one can of great northern beans and I'm just going to drain them and then throw them in. supposed to drain this or not but I'm just gonna drain it anyway I don't know if I mentioned but that was one pound of ground beef that I added I don't need nobody else but me I wish all cans had pull tabs so that way I don't have to keep dirtying my can opener. <laughs> That'd be so convenient. chili in here and I am going to add more liquid even though there is some at the bottom from the tomatoes and that. You would think I was making this for an army but nope it's mainly just for myself. I am going to freeze at least some of it and but yeah I don't know why I said and yeah so pretty much it's just for me. Willow might have some but I don't know. I know John and Balin aren't because Balin's very picky, and John just makes his own meals. <laughs> so, yep, good thing I used a big crock pot, because I was going to use my smaller one, but it's buried all the way back there, and I was being really lazy and <laughs> didn't feel like getting it, so I'm just, I just used John's. Now I 
am going to add some diced onion and some garlic and then a little bit of chicken stock and just let it go. And I bought this container of already minced garlic a little while ago. And so I'm just gonna use that because, again, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm going to add about a tablespoon, and I feel like that should be enough for this amount. Maybe two tablespoons. <laughs> I also bought pre-diced onions. I bought these a little while ago. I forget what I was actually going to use them for, but... Um, yeah, I don't, I really don't remember. So I'm just gonna add probably this whole thing in here only cause I still have one more container left and because I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, I don't want it to, I'd rather just one container go to waste than like one and a half. So I'm just gonna dump this whole thing in. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I just need time right now. I'm going alone tonight. I don't so this is how it looks so far. And I'm actually kind of debating on um, if I'm gonna add that whole thing of chicken stock or not. I might just add half because I feel like the last time I made soup, I added too much liquid and it turned into more like a chili soup, not chili. And I said soup before I meant chili, but anyhow. So, cause I mean, I feel like there is a, uh, well you can't really tell from that angle. So it looks, but I don't know. I feel like it is pretty liquidy and I know it will render some liquid too <clears throat> after it cooks so I think I might only add half of this I'll see oh <laughs> well apparently I've already used it before so I hope I wasn't supposed to refrigerate it after I used it oh well too late if I was um let's see does it say um I don't see it listed anywhere so hopefully that's a good sign and that means I didn't need to well in that case I might just end up using the whole thing if I've already used some of it oh actually you know what that looks pretty liquidy I feel like chili is supposed to be pretty thick. Let me, <laughs> someone let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong or if there really isn't a specific consistency for chili. I know stews, stew is usually thicker, but I don't know where chili falls in the soup stew realm. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. And then I think that should be good. Uh, hopefully I didn't add too much. I don't think it looks too liquidy. Smells good. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And then just put it on... Uh, it is 2 o'clock already, so I might put it on high. And then just have it on high and I will cover it up I just gotta remove the spoon for about three to four hours soon find out how it tastes <laughs> Thank you.
a place where we can hide You wanna stay there, wanna stay there You wanna stay there, we can leave the pain behind Stay, stay, stay Like a wrecking ball, we can break them all To a higher ground, we will not be found We can win the game, we can go insane Thank you to all of those who have watched to the end of this video. I really appreciate that. And be sure to click the subscribe button down below if you are not subscribed already. Also give this video a like if it's something that you are interested in and want to know and want to see more of so that way I know what kind of content to create for you. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.